Welcome back to the channel everybody and today we're going to be doing something which has been uh, it's a question I've had how much weight do you actually end up with from a brisket? People always say yes I've got this huge brisket blah 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 but how much weight that doesn't really matter what matters is when it's cooked and you start slicing it and ready to serve people how much weight do you actually have? To me, that's important because I've done some catering, you know, or cook for family, and you have, let's say, 20 people coming over. That's maybe the difference of one, two briskets. Who knows? This way, we're going to figure that out. We're going to weigh it along every step. I've got my trusty scale here, my pad and paper. We're going to record it along the way. I'm not going to do anything crazy. We're going to trim it like I normally do. And then we can see how much trim we end up with. So let's get started. I'm going to just take this aluminum tray. I'm going to hit Terra. What that does is zero the scale back to normal minus this weight. What we're going to do, take it out, get our baseline of exactly how much we're, our brisket is. And then just every step along the way. I'm not going to worry about that little bit of juice in the bag. I know there's a little bit of loss there, but you always get that. What I'm concerned about is what we have here. And we have 6.105 kilos. So that's our starting weight from now. Like I said, we're going to trim it like I normally would, so I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm going to prep this. Oh, in the meantime, the smoker has started already. Uh, I just want to see where we're going to end up with this. So without taking too much off, there we go, we're done. As you can see, I've taken all that trim off. So the interesting part now is let's put this back on the scale. Whew. We have 3.820 kilo. That is a huge loss right there. You know, uh, this is one thing that guys I've never seen talk about, but for me this is really interesting because I've worked in the food industry for a very long time, and you buy by weight, you sell by weight. So the more weight you lose, the more you have to charge. Uh, just for me it's really interesting. Trimmed. Now we're going to take my trusty uh, spice rub, do like we normally would, and then weigh it again. Back on the scale. Still at zero? Yep, perfect. Now we are at 3.8 six zero kilo which is normal which we picked up a little bit of weight from the rub so to the smoker we go so we've made it outside now let's get this brisket on so what we're going to do we're just going to put it in the middle more in the hotter zone, which I normally would put it in. There we go, people. Now we're going to let it do its thing. I'm going to do everything normal. Uh, keep it around 250, 225, 250 the best I can. Come back after two hours, check on it. Just let it go. 
try and get it to an internal of like 170, 180 wrap, but we're gonna show you quickly what we're gonna do and weigh it at every step. It's just been over two hours, let's take a look. A long ways to go, but uh, back she goes. Okay, we're just over four and a half hours. Uh, I just took the temperature, it's at 165. Looking good, but I'm gonna let it go for at least another hour and then I'm gonna wrap it. We're back, the brisket is ready to wrap. Got my tin, we're gonna put it on, I'm gonna hit Tara. Done. I'm gonna go get it. Got my tongs and I'll, I'll be right back. And just like that, we're back. Let's throw this on. Get my trusty pad of paper. We are at 2.625 kilos. This is pulled to wrap. Just by the quick numbers here, we're actually down quite a bit, more than I thought, but whatever. We're gonna wrap it right now. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on. I'm not weighing that, because the butter is only gonna be on the outside, just to help with everything. Got my handy dandy butcher paper. Butter on here. Honestly, I just like the, the way the, the flavor goes with the butter. Uh, I've been experimenting and it works, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Yes, I'm not very good at wrapping peasants. One more. There we go, done. Back to the smoker. It's back in the smoker. I'm gonna let it get up to tender, which is like 201, 202, 203, wherever I can get it to. And then come back in. So the next time you see me, we'll come back, do the final way, and then get to the good stuff, cutting it. I'm excited, people. It's done. It reached a temperature of 203 Fahrenheit. It's been resting, it's been resting for like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna put the tray on, hit Terra. So it brings it back to zero. Now I'm gonna get the beast out and let's do the final wait, feel nice and hot, that's good. There we go. 2.27 kilo. Wow, that is a huge weight drop and with the magic of movies I'm going to tell you what it is that was a little shocking I had to do that twice uh, so right now with this piece here we ended up with 37 percent from the total from the beginning that means we lost 63 percent of the weight from trimming and just weight loss of the fat and juices and everything else. That's worse than my beef jerky. My beef jerky, I only do it with a 48, 50% loss. But 60, yeah, 63%, that's crazy. Okay, it's a, I, this is just one brisket. Of course, if you do more briskets, you're gonna get a better average. But, uh, yeah, that's just a little shocking, but now I know. Now I can figure out, okay, if I have a 15 pound brisket, I'm gonna end up with a roughly about this much. I'm gonna use that as a good rule of thumb. But now to the fun part, I guess you guys all want to know. Oh yeah. 
Nice and juicy, beautiful smoke ring. Mmm. the finger test yes there's a pull up oh look at that pull pull oh mm. you know what you can't beat that flavor that is awesome huge weight loss I know that but I still you get you get addicted to this and uh, when you yeah, when you have a good piece like this. Mm. Well, anyways, everybody, I hope you learned something. I learned a huge amount of information from this one. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to use that to my advantage if I ever have to do a catering gig or just uh, do something like this for, let's say, a party. You can, you can better judge how much you're actually going to need. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hope you had fun with this one, too. I did. You know what? Brisket, you're always going to have fun doing brisket. Uh, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Leave, leave me some comments. And uh, again, happy eating, everybody.